All right, it's go time. Uh, statewide opener for turkey, spring gobbler for Pennsylvania. Uh, starts Saturday morning. Uh, my wife and I, we are heading north to Potter County to our cabin up there, one of my absolute favorite places in the world. Uh, we're leaving tonight, Thursday night. Gonna get a late start up, but get up there, scout Friday, hang out, settle in and get on some birds in the morning. All right, we are all loaded down, packed up, ready to go. I got my lovely wife. Next stop, Potter County. After three hours and 45 minutes of straight through driving, we have made it to camp. All right, well, we didn't get much video last night. It was two o'clock in the morning when we got here. <laughs> so, drive up was nice, no traffic, we made it pretty much record speed but game plan for today is turkey season's tomorrow we're gonna go out here later this afternoon three o'clock or so start hitting the trails get out in the woods uh, try to locate some birds uh, and basically get up tomorrow morning and do the deal go out chasing turkeys all morning My wife's a better outdoorsman than me. We were just walking in, didn't hear any birds. I just said, Daggum, there's supposed to be turkeys everywhere. She says, Hey, there's one right there. Two. And there's a gobbler right there. I've been bested by my wife. All right, so right after we saw that male turkey, could have been a jig, could have been a gobbler. We walked up to where they crossed the road and uh, another turkey flew off to our left just up over the edge of the mountain and I think it roosted or at least landed in a tree but I think we got a good spot to go tomorrow Alrighty, round two. We had a pretty exciting morning. Uh, we had, I, we were pretty sure we heard five different birds goblin this morning. Had one hen come in, saw us, took off. Then all the gobblers kind of got quiet and dispersed. And then we got chased in by rain. So it started raining pretty hard, pretty steady. So we packed it in, went home, got breakfast. Uh, and because I'm such a loving, caring husband, I told my wife, why don't you just go take a nap and I'll run back out. So I'm Traveling light. I literally got my gun. No decoys. No nothing. Gun camera. Mouth call. And I'm just going to walk back in here up on the other. I drove down the road about a mile and a half to on the other side of the mountain where we heard the birds. See if I can't get in there. Maybe intercept them. We'll see. Still figuring this out.
This might be the dumbest move I could make, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not very good at turkey hunting. But it sounds to me like he's kinda working up the mountain on the other side, away from me. So I'm gonna try to get back up here on this logging road and get back out ahead of him. That's the plan. I can't believe this, I actually got right above him. He's just down the other side of the hill here. I just heard him gobble. I'm gonna try to find a place to pull off and fork my butt. Well, I guess I'm going to call that a wrap. I say magically get lucky on this walk out. Hear another bird. That's so frustrating. Hunted all morning with my wife, had birds everywhere. Couldn't call anything in. Decided to go home, get out of the rain, come back out. Just luckily stumble upon a bird working for over an hour get up make a move basically stumble right upon him and I take one one move too many and I blew it so I call out a wrap try to get him again when I get home I go after Lancaster County birds I need to get in better shape for next year this is ridiculous